So there we go, quick exterior tour because we've actually brought it out for the day. To give it a bit of a run, test any modifications. But yeah, it's a little bit scrappy on the outside, nothing a bit of uh, TLC won't sort out. So the distinctive colour scheme. A few little cosmetic bits to sort. But other than that, it's a fairly straight van. Seems to work quite well, drives nice. So it gives us something to play with. Now originally we were going to keep the ply liner that was in there. But since we've actually had a bit of a clean out, it's actually quite obvious that it's actually not in the best of shapes, especially the flooring. So, what we're going to do, we're going to tear it all out, put some sound deadening in, a bit of insulation and damp proofing, and then we're going to completely reply line it and go again from scratch. But the first test of the little handle seems to work alright. Um, there's a few little modifications, but yeah, it'll work alright. So, 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 so spending extra money on something that I can make myself. Now when we were out, we did find that there's still definitely a boost leak going on. So the first thing I did, pulled the intercooler, and as you can see from the corner, it looks like it has been leaking a fair bit. The new intercooler is in, but I still found a boost leak going on when I was driving it hard. So what I've done, I've built myself a little smoke tester. Nothing too complicated, it's just a wick, heating coil, bit of wire coming out the top, two pipes, one in, one out. On the end of the output pipe, I printed an insert that fits into the intake nice and snug, and stops any smoke escaping from there. And on the other end, I'm literally just using an air blower just to force the air through. The whole thing's powered by a lithium battery, just a 12 volt one, nothing too elaborate at all. There's just a switch to power it up and let the smoke start coming through. So the smoke test is in place, let's power it up. Smoke starts to fill the jar. And we'll see where we've got anything coming out of anywhere. No sound of anything yet, I'll just wait for the system to fill up. I did put a bracket on this boost pipe as well to hold it down a bit more. Can't see anything coming out of there though. All looks good. Brand new intercooler fitted as well. So far, no sign of anything. Now I don't know whether you can actually see that, but we have smoke coming out from that join just down there. So, next stage, we'll see what's going on with that piece. Let's see if we can fix the leak. So, took the boost pipe off, and there's the culprit. One nice hole that's letting all the boost out. So, look at getting repair done on that and we'll see what we can do. One problem that you do get with the Vivaros is the actual scuttle underneath the windscreen has a tendency to leak. So, what I've done, I've actually took it all off, cleaned it, actually put this extra sealant along here, which is just like a dense rubber seal. And on the other side, actually on the scuttle itself, which is quite difficult to see, but I've got exactly the same. And some more foam padding down the side, all the way down, which hopefully will stop any rain coming down. Because the problem that you get is it actually gets on top of the engine down there and fills everything up with water, which eventually actually causes untold damage to the wiring looms and makes getting the injectors out an absolute nightmare. So there we go, bit of an update on the van, gives you an idea of what we've been doing with it. Next stop, we're going to get some tyres put onto it, sort that side of things out. But thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment below. We'll see you again very soon.